Howard Hayes was high up on the mast of the Coast Guard ship Roger B. Taney during the morning hours of December 7, 1941. What happened next would stay with him a lifetime. Colo 8 News Now's Paul Harris explains. This pictorial record includes both U.S. films and pictures made by the enemy. As Japanese planes made their way to Pearl Harbor, the crew of the Roger B. Taney prepared for battle. The Japanese didn't know that we were there at the dock. You couldn't see us, but we start firing at them. Now, we do not know whether we hit them or the explosion from the shells was so close to them that would affect the plane. Well, there were five planes. They turned around and went back towards the ocean. And as they went back towards the ocean, four of them went down. Hayes still has vivid memories of the harbor after the attacks. That harbor was a mess. I mean a mess. Hayes was a cook in the Coast Guard and worked in the commissary. He became friends with many of the men and women stationed at Pearl Harbor. His daughter took him back to Hawaii for his 90th birthday. But as a sign of respect, Hayes would not go on the floating memorial above the USS Arizona. Being as I knew him, I wouldn't go over there because, over it, because I don't believe in walking over the dead. He just had a hell of a funny feeling about it. After his service in the Coast Guard, Hayes was a truck driver for 50 years. He is enjoying the golden years of retirement as we caught up with him in 2013 at an Aces game. But the 96-year-old has one wish, a wish to set foot on his former ship, which is now a floating museum in Baltimore, one more time. That if my daughter and I go back there, we can stay aboard ship one night. She says she's going to sleep in the captain's bar room. And I told her she's going to sleep on a hammock. <laughs> Paul Harris, Colo 8 News Now. Colo 8 News Now is trying to interview and tell the stories of as many northern Nevada Pearl Harbor survivors as possible before December's 75th anniversary. If you are one or related to one or know one, please email or call our newsroom. It's estimated every three minutes a World War II survivor passes away and with it, their piece of history. Time is of the essence in this effort to document their stories.